Well, the Banner Protect has started on up. Breach Hard points the map, and there's the High Caliber okay. and Mana War Bands right away. Crim6 getting that AR off the table. Surprised that they decide to go after the Mana War there, maybe trying to shut down Clayster a little bit. But of course, Formal just so deadly with those burst weapons, you might as well just take the, the fully auto ones away. And now things are going to get a bit more standard as the flashbangs go off the table. I think both teams are kind of on the same page when it comes to Bandit Protects. I think Concussions will follow up. There's Rapid Fire, maybe even the Shiva to go and Overclock to follow things up. All right, so, so far, all really kind of making sense between these two teams. As we continue on through, it's going to be Formal and Attach for the last two selections. Where do they go from here? I mean, the way to see what the other does, I think. Yeah, do I think overclock Shiva maybe to follow it up. Okay. Yeah, I, you I, ignore the Shiva and no, I can I can definitely see that. They're yeah. running out of time though. Yep. There's overclock there Shiva. All right, overclock Shiva. All makes sense there. As we head into the specialist draft, you expect this one to be pretty straight up. Scump kinetic with, makes it through. Scump with kinetic armor. Clayster maybe Clayster goes with. Tempest or yeah, Scythe? You could see 2-2 two, two, or you could see 1-3. Uh, well, with, well, with Zuma picking active camo, you expect 1-3, yeah. right? Exactly. Zuma or, loves eh, to use the Scythe. At the same time, and Heat Wave with the Purifier, Heat probably? Wave with the, yeah, yeah, I was okay. about to say Heat Wave and then possibly Attach goes for something a little bit different, but now he'll go Kinetic Armor to finish things out. Looking what do you like, think about these guys going with camo over something like a Purifier here? Uh, I, I mean, on a map like this, while Purifier is very good, a lot of times it, I think it can be over... Like, Overhyped, over overhyped, right? Yeah. It, it, yes, it's very good on the first hard point. Yes, it's very good on cages, but at times you see where it can hurt you on the likes of Bottom Palace, where it's just okay. such a large room. We've also seen it used effectively in lab, but a lot of times it's how many times you've seen a player go to break and it's just out of range, right? Yeah. Because you can play those far corners. We'll see how it works out on this map. Who can make the better happen with active camo? If you are just tuning in tonight. So far, what you've missed, a Game 5, Round 11, 5-2 comeback from TSM earlier today against CLG to knock out CLG's hopes of making it out of relegation. And then, obviously, Rise Nation taking down TK 3-0. That was a pretty quick match. That was definitely a very quick one. Revan, in this one, though, who who wins it, and is it as quick as Rise TK? Um, it has the potential to be. I, I know Optic has won the last couple of matchups that these guys have had against each other. And okay. to be honest, everybody's been struggling against Optic in you know, some of the recent matches. They've just been on a very hot tear. They won the most recent 25K. So I think Optic wins, but I think FaZe make it a closer match this time. Okay. I think maybe a 3-1 scoreline. 3-1 in favor of OG. Yeah. Either way, though, it's going to be a good one, guys. Be sure to stay tuned throughout the rest of the night for a major relegation match coming up next. But... Do you want to point out, we got another question to ask the fans watching okay. a, uh, from at home or in the live event viewer. What has been your favorite moment so far of stage one? Yikes. I want to hear your thoughts on this guy. Send him over at CourageJD, at RevanJB. I, I don't even know where to go with this one. There's so there many so to many. think of. I mean, the, dia think the, of diabolic, the Diabolic Heat Wave play was nuts. Yeah. Also, the Nagafen flank, but for me, my, the favorite, one before? my favorite moment, my favorite moment for me is the Chino... Oh, the dart. The Chino dart round 10 Redwood overdrive play. That was the hardest I've laughed, I think, in my entire life. I mean, Clayster falling off the map. There that have been was so many. Nuts. Just think of all the different theater rewinds we've done. How come all of our favorite moments are like fails? <laughs> like, like the worst thing that could happen the, to the player? Those are some of the most memorable and funny moments that, that happen in game. That, that is most certainly true. I feel like a lot of the other moments actually come from like just things Maven has done. Yeah. Like weird, like the wig. The wig was so funny when he wore the wig. I, I, we, I really want to push for now stage you two. Wear it. I really want to push for stage two where, like, Maven just wears a wig each week. Every week he casts primary, he's wearing a different wig. He's He's been talking about shaving his head he has for been. so many days now. I, he think, has it, I think he's going to go full bald. Someone just needs to just make it happen. Yeah. Just get it done when he's asleep one day. Just bring over shears. Shoot. Get it done and let, let Clint go. It's not even too much work. Mr. You just Clean. take a scissor, like, two snips, and it's all gone. Wow. Okay, he's got a little bit more hair than that, Revan. Either way, though, Phase Optic about to start on up. This is going to be a lot of fun to cast and yeah. watch off the start. Let's watch Phase Clan to see how they can stack up against the likes of Optic Gaming and Hardpoint. Well, you highlighted Attach. Let's see what he brings to the table here. As he's going to be the third man in line, he's going to throw out some trophies, give his teammates some protection. But Crimson's inside the Hardpoint, getting the job done early on there. Scumpy to follow up. Let's switch over to him. As he's going to be the guy inside the Hardpoint, quick draw. Grip and stock on his VMP. 
Stock does make it through. We saw Optic last week putting some pressure on the stock by protecting it in a few of their games because of out of worry that it would get banned. Now, though, Scump has that stock ready Ooh. to go on his VMP. A little bit of an awkward timing there. OG out to an 18-2 lead. Attached on the hard point. He's going to pre-fire. Three bullets left. Gets the job done. As FaZe looked to get as much time as possible on this first hard point. And, you know, this is a hard point, Matt, that we've seen Optic Gaming lose. That, the... that, that was my next yeah. point. We've seen them lose Breach hard point before. Yep. This is, you know... Not one of those hardpoint maps where they just flat out dominate like some of the others. So I think FaZe, they have a realistic chance here on hardpoint. This is one of their better maps. I, I will most certainly say that this is this is Optic Gaming's weakest hardpoint in my eyes. Definitely a winnable match for FaZe. The big difference for me is the control of bottom palace and green. I feel like that's a lot of times where OG struggle. This, of all the hills actually cages, is one that Optic Gaming do well on. You can see it right there. They always send pressure top middle. Sometimes it's Scump. This time it's Krim. They love watching over that back area with ARs. It's working out right now for OG. They've doubled and near tripled the score of FaZe off the start of Both this game. these teams are just making really heads up and smart plays. I mean, Zuma hitting that lower wall run and just like that, all four players go down from FaZe. But what we saw from Optic Gaming they were pushing out all the lanes, right? The one thing they missed is they didn't send anybody aggressively up towards construction or porta potties. That allowed FaZe to kind of group up and all hit from the same angle as they took mid control a little bit before that. But Optic Gaming, they built themselves a pretty sizable lead here on the Cage's Hardpoint. They've got every single second on it so far, and that reflects in the lead, man. They're up. They're going to be up by like 80 points. Yeah, they're they're in a great spot at or the 70 moment. 70 points, sorry. One thing I do want to point out, if you notice, why is Karma's name yellow right now on your scoreboard? This was recently patched yesterday. A specialist meter has been added in. Be sure to tweet Treyarch with a picture of your favorite dog saying thank you what? so much for this. You know, just a nice happy picture. Spread positive vibes, right? Puppies make everybody happy. As it's just such a great addition ah. because now you can see who's going to really find action with a specialist. We watched Karma there use the heat wave. Now Scump has earned his kinetic armor as well. Now has popped it. You can see how it's flashing. The meter's dropping down. He's getting kills near top middle. He'll flood into the hard point. Gets the entry kill his teammates. Pre fires around the corner, but can't pick up the kill. Ah, Optic gaming. No follow up. They, they've been pushing in kind of one by one by and one into this hard point, not attacking at the same time. What did I mention? What What did I mention? This is a hill where they struggle to break for that exact reason. Because there's so many different angles to watch. OG, they try to just flood in one by one at times, and it doesn't work out. It's a perfect hold for FaZe. And Not right only are gonna, they going to hold this hill, but they're going to hold it for all 60 seconds. And OG are actually late on the rotation because they spawn mm -hmm. outside that top vent area. It's kind of exactly where I wound up predicting it, Revan, where OG, yes, they'll do well at holding cages. They hold that for 60, but where they struggle is Palace, and they lost 60 seconds right there. Here comes Scumpy. He's going to pop his active camo, but he loses the gunfight to attack. But Krim, inside yeah. the hard point, it's Karma stepping up along with Scump. 11 and 5, 13 and 6, respectively. They see the shadow of the player up top. Scump makes quick work of Zuma. As Optic Gaming, they hold on to the hard point. Now they're looking to build some streaks. Nice challenge by Karma. 12 and 5. Him and Scump have really taken over this game. A little bit of a slow start from Krim, 6 and Karma, but that makes that's what makes Optic Gaming... Or sorry, uh, Crim6 Informal, sorry. That's what makes Optic Gaming so lethal. The Lightning. In this game mode, Scump now with Lightning. He's the gets shadow. the Hellstorm. One more kill, and he's got the Cerberus. Ooh. Not going to happen there. As Optic Gaming have brought their lead back to about 40 seconds as they still try to lock down this green hill, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Wow. Yep, what, so what a hill They should Optic. start pushing forward right now. And kind of going back on the point that you were making, how sometimes Optic do have some troubles breaking in the hard point. It seems like they just need to get everybody in position, then do a countdown. I think that's the most basic way to go about it. Maybe they're starting to overthink some things going into that uh, stage of the game when they're set up to break. But, man, take a look at Scum. 18 and 7 with a minute 30 inside <laughs> and the hard point. And we, we, mentioned, we mentioned how it's Scump versus Attach, right? 4 and attach 9 versus 4 18 and, and 9. I mean, this is like all the fuel you could ever need to add to the fire of that conversation between FaZe and Optic fans. Last year it was Clayster versus Formal. This year it's Attach right, versus Scump. A beautiful hold there by FaZe. Optic Gaming will spawn all the way out. We'll take another 10 seconds before they can even try to contest this hard point. Clayster only had one burst left. He'll reload, challenge the player, tags him up there. He should be able to follow this kill up, but as I say that, it looks like Optic Gaming have found their way into the hard point. Yeah, Karma here to follow up from Formal. Can't pick up the kill as Attach somehow beats down his own teammate <laughs> as he what? takes down Clayster. It's not going to be up to Scumpy inside the hard point with 10 seconds remaining. One player in front of him can't clean up the kill, but they still have the streaks to fall back on. In the meantime, FaZe, they're setting up some early position here over near the next hard point as we move back to the middle hut. Attach has already thrown down some trophies. Some Semtex is going out as well. The lightning strike gets called in from Scump but FaZe still hold on to control. A very, very close matchup now. Optic Gaming, Good what was wave. 
a 70 second lead down to just 25. You mentioned good heat wave there. W would, you, would you say Karma is the best at Heat Wave in Black Ops 3? Best at using Heat Wave? He's certainly up there. I, it's kind of hard to say who's the best with what just because we've seen them used in so many different manners, right? Yeah. But that's going to be three down from FaZe. Scumpy moves right into the hard point. He also has kinetic armor to use. Be a good hard point to pop him off. He feels the pressure. He also has a Hellstorm missile still in his back pocket. There's the kinetic armor. He gets popped, but he loses Ooh. the gunfight to Enable as he charges right in. Enable also has his Heat Wave to use, but he gets cleaned up from Karma using those Sumtax grenades. And I just wanted to see if he was using Danger Close. It's something that Karma's been using so often as of late. Yep, Optic Gaming get the better of phase again in this bottom middle hard point. They'll extend their lead to about 60 seconds as we rotate back towards cages. Now, this is where it gets scary for phase fans because Optic are up by about 60 seconds and they're going into their best hill on this map. Yeah. Scum takes down he the might use a here. on the rotation. Does he elect to do so? Hasn't as of yet. And I don't think he has because they had that middle map pressure, right? Mm -hmm. They still had Crim6 there. They're still spawning in the back. No reason to panic as of yet, and Scump knows just that. Now it's going to be one player charging right through the front. It's Zuma with active camo. He takes control and he shuts down the site from Formal after that. Two huge kills from Zuma. This gives FaZe an opening to at least close the gap that they currently face in the score, but he's the last remaining phase player pushed up. He's about to get pressured in from multiple angles, finds one, takes down formal, another oh. player challenging from the back door, but once again, it's Scumpy making plays happen. They're gonna give up As all right that now, time. Plus 13. Phase are gonna have to give up all 25 seconds. That's gonna put Optic. Uh, Karma has a Cerberus, Up by, the by way. about 70 seconds, and somehow Karma has a Cerberus. He's got the heat wave, he's fully streaked out. Karma and Scump both just taking over this first game, already with combined near 50 kills. And with Formal 13 and 19, because he, normally we see him dropping like 40 kills around this moment in the game, this has kind of opened <laughs> up the open up for some room for Scump and Karma to also get some slaying done. And that's where it gets scary is that everyone can fill the role when they need to for this yeah. team. Kinetic Armor gets popped by Attach. Nice. He'll flood on out, gets one, has a second player challenging to his Ooh. right, wins that engagement versus Crim6 as well. Phase, this was the hill that really swung you guys back into the game earlier. You need to do it again here. If they lock down these 40 seconds, they're back within 20, but they cannot let Optic Gaming get this break at any time during this hard point. The challenge comes in. Heat Wave is popped. Enable clears out one with the help of Zuma as well. Now Scump on the pitch. Attach finds him. Attach now coming to life in this game. You still have Karma fully streaked out. Phase winning gun battles all over the map. It's Hellstorm time apparently now for Optic Gaming. That's not going to do anything as Phase are back within 40 seconds. That's fine though. It gives Optic Gaming a ton of information that keeps everybody from FaZe trapped inside the hardpoint. They can't push up on the map and try to beat Optic Gaming in rotation because that's the one saving grace they had last time this hardpoint came around is FaZe, they won the rotation there. So this time, they're the ones that are a little bit late, but once again, we see Optic Gaming struggling to break into that Palace hardpoint. They essentially tried to attack from four different angles, but they all got picked apart one by one as they're setting up to do so. Here goes the break, but Scump is ready for it. They took a little bit too long to challenge from both angles. Scump pre-fires, and oh, that hold right there might just be the dagger. You've got Karma holding on to all the streaks he has in his arsenal. This man is positive six. He, he is going off right now. Scump. 28 and 15, 245 in the hard point. Talk about an MVP performance. Oh yeah, and you got Karma pretty much right behind him. Only four kills behind, but for the time being, phase they break in. They're not giving up without a fight. It's gonna be attached inside the hard point. As he's 18 uh -oh. and 20 currently on a two speed. I see a helicopter in the yeah, middle there's now. There's the servers being called in. 10 seconds remaining in this current hard point. It's all about the rotation phase. They need to give up this scrap time. Uh, you're just fighting a man down on rotation, almost two man down as now all the streaks are being called in. You got a Cerberus near the middle of the map. Things are looking grim here oh, for FaZe. Oh gosh. Optic Gaming with area controls, they should be able to shut it down. This is it. Optic Gaming take map number one, 250 to 202. Okay. And while FaZe at times were able to lock down hills for 40, 50 plus seconds, specifically in that Palace hardpoint, outside of that, it was really just OG winning on basically every other hill. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, the one struggles that Optic had on this map were breaking into that Palace hardpoint. I feel like that's where FaZe got the majority of their time, just locking down Palace for both rotations where we visited there. So great yep. job from FaZe. They, they executed their setup perfectly. But when it came down to everything else, Optic game were just slightly ahead. They most certainly did. OG, I mean, it's their bread and butter, right? I think they yeah. have the best hardpoint record and the best uplink record. Is that is that what it is in Black Ops in COD World League? I think Possibly. That's, I think that's what their two are because uh, CTF and S&D 
are not really their weaker ones. There's just teams that somehow have one or two games uh, better record than yeah. they do at the moment. Either way, though, when you have like a, what, 80% map win percentage, you expect to have some of those records in the yeah. league. Listen, Optic are well-versed in each and every game mode. Yeah. I think right now, uh, normally I would say kind of... Uh, Maybe the weaker one they, they normally had was Search and Destroy, but I think they've put in a ton of effort and a ton of work into their Search game overall. Maybe you switch it over to CTF. Yeah. But Scump has just the, the craziest KD I've ever seen in that game mode. Yeah, Scump tweeted the other day, like, oh, it just annoys me when casters just harp on our S&D game. It's like, They're when, stop being good at everything. <laughs> when you don't lose your respawns, what else is there to really talk about? We just mentioned if this team wins their S&Ds, where's the weakness in this lineup? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at your after action report as Optic Gaming outslay phase there by about 14 kills. Attach Stump goes plus 15 Attach had eight. three minutes in the hill. Think, Jeez. Attach was what? What, what was he at the start? Four and eight? Or no? Four no, and nine. Four and nine or something like that. Finishes 18 and 21. Definitely turned things around as the game went on. But Scup, 31 and 16. Leads the game in defense alongside Crim6. Leads the game by far in hill time. Nearly doubles everyone else on his team. What a performance there from Scump. And it all started in that first hard point. Oh, yeah, for sure. That is just absolutely insane. Then you got Karma. Also pitching in right behind him. Karma finishes 28 and 21. He also pitches in inside the hardpoint. Krim, you know, he didn't get as much time in the hill as we usually see. Only nine seconds. Actually, Formal gets more time in the hill than he does. But on the side from FaZe, rarely do we see a team, rarely do we see this specific team all go negative, but they do it here on map one. Got to be a frustrating loss for them. But while it was frustrating, it's, it's something that you, you kind of no might be coming if you're a fan of FaZe Clan, especially against the likes of Optic Gaming in their best hard point. At that point, you, you knew the game was over. Once Karma was fully streaked, making plays like that, he knew no reason to panic and use them. Yeah. If we Save can just, them for him when you absolutely need to. If, if there was an opportunity where FaZe are somehow close to tying the game back up, like let's say FaZe hold all 60 seconds on that lab hard point and it goes back to top middle and Optic's maybe within 10 and Karma drops Hellstorm Lightning and Cerberus, yeah. there's the there's the way you shut the door on phase in map number one. Just waiting for players to join up on their correct teams. We mentioned the likes of Attach with his sniper presence on the map. Mm -hmm. Does Optic even go after that, or do they just say, you know what, Attach is going to use a sniper no matter what. Yeah. Let's just focus on other things. Well, every bit on this phase team has brought out a sniper at one point or another, but you also have two great snipers in, in Formal and Karma. Krim isn't afraid to pull out the sniper rifle if need be as well. So I think the sniping presence is there for both teams. I'm not sure if Optic Gaming are, are they feel threatened enough that they're going to go after it. Maybe they ban overkill just to limit the yeah. effectiveness of that. But still, the secondaries are, are really good, really powerful. So I think there will be... I don't think you'll bring out four snipers, but, you know, maybe two. We've seen Optic on this map a lot of times elect to just not snipe, though, and yeah. play with ARs and subs and go for, let's say, that defensive four-man flood right through middle map. Yeah, it's we always the, talk about That's their go-to play. It's one of the scariest setups you can see in Call of Duty is... I'm going to go towards top bunker, and then out of nowhere, you have Formal and Karma flying from the back two trees with Skump already it's at your terrifying. bottom bunker window and Crim6 flying through trees because he's a reincarnation of Tarzan. The man, the man is. Don't he's lie. A, he's a reincarnation of Tarzan, He was said? the one that starred in that Disney movie. I don't Crim6. think so. No, it, go look it up. I'm going to have to fact check that. Someone send me a screenshot of Tarzan and Crim6 together. Photoshop his face on as the same person. I don't think so. I'm going to have to fact check that. How are you going to fact check that? But I have my ways. Okay. Well, now you're just making it creepy. Either way, though, just waiting for teams to get set and ready to go. Uh, and, th and there you go. We're starting up the countdown. Game two. Optic Gaming up 1-0. Now heading into Search and Destroy. The big question for us. The sniper Snipers. presence on the map. What do we see as a first band for form? Won't be surprised if it was overkill. Clacer goes after Heat Wave, and there's overkill from Optic Gaming. So we've seen Heat Wave time and time again, especially on this map. You know, you, you speak about your most memorable play. Karma's Heat Wave here against Elevate. That was a pretty big play to make. God. I, I, I actually tweeted at Holly yesterday. Or, or I, was in a, I was in a Twitch chat, and I asked Holly if she could adopt me. What'd she say? She said, I don't think that's possible because you're a grown man, and <laughs> there's rules against that. And I said, we can make a way happen. <laughs> Anyways, Cram6 decides to take out the Thermal Site. Phase go after high caliber. Now we're going to see the tacticals start to get targeted as Karma. He bans the flashbangs. Maybe see concussions or a rapid fire to follow us up. Shiva still in play. 
I think Optic should be the ones to ban out the Shiva. So I'm looking for Scumpy to ban Shiva here and maybe Enable to go after Concussions. Maybe he's going to wait to see if Enable goes first, but High Caliber, Rapid Fire, Scump goes after Concussion and reverse of what I thought. Enable finish things off with the Shiva ban, so pretty standard stuff. You can see that Optic Gaming, they did respect the Sniper Presence enough from FaZe to go after both Overkill as well as the Thermal Sight. Yeah, and I still don't think that'll stop the likes of Attach to maybe bring out a, a Varric oh, no. Sight, uh, Sight Locus. Either way, though, as we continue on through, Locus, it's going to be formal again six. with the active camo, and Clayster follows up with one of his own. So what does Karma use here now that he doesn't have Heat Wave? Um, Do you give him maybe a Vision Pulse or an Overdrive? Well, I think Krim usually uses Overdrive. Maybe we see Krim go with Vision Pulse and Karma pick up Overdrive to really change things up. I think that's bit. the discussion they're having here now, which is why it's taking Krim pretty long to pick. So Krim will go for Vision Pulse. Karma's pick now. He goes with Overdrive. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that, that's kind of what I expected. We've seen Krim 6 use Vision Pulse a little bit more often. Yeah. Karma. If there's a player who can adapt to anything that's in front of him, using Overdrive will definitely work. On the side of Phase, it's Overdrive from Zuma, attached with Kinetic. Now Enable okay, will enable go with Vision Pulse vision. himself. So it's, it's, it is a mirror matchup uh, from both these teams. Yeah, it's funny because Enable always uses the Fire Break Specialist, yep. and they ban out Heat Wave, something that he uses so often, but you could clearly see that was maybe targeting a bit more towards uh, Karma. Just yeah. trying to limit his effectiveness on the map, but we'll see if it comes into play. Now, we just saw uh, a pretty good evac, or not evac, um, Redwood search and destroy from TSM. Maybe these guys were watching, picked up a, a thing or two to see what TSM did. But I think FaZe, the big I, thing here is they need to find an answer to Optic's mid-push. Yeah, I think that, that that's what I was about to go into. How much homework have FaZe done on Optic, especially on a map like Redwood? Optic are fine with not having a sniper presence. They, they have the ARs that can shoot from range to still get the shots in and get the kills they need to. They're more than happy with giving up control of A mm -hmm. to flood out B and then just retake into that uh, into yeah. A site if the opposing team goes there. If I'm phase, I'm trying to figure out whatever I can do to somehow counteract that middle push, whether it's, you know what, you just go for man A, you get the bomb planted almost instantly and then hope you can hold up the site, mm -hmm. or you just try to fight back with them because if there's one team that can match or do their best to match the gun skill of Optic Gaming, it is face. I mean, one thing you could always do to slow down that push is throw a tactical at them, but both of them were banned out here. So, so maybe you got to resort EMP. to your lethals here or yeah. EMPs, sure, that could also help out, but I mean, you, you also got trophy systems. You got to find yeah. the, the perfect position to throw that EMP. But there's Redwood, tools to stop it. Yeah, Redwood search and destroy. That's the, the big question for both of us here as the players just finished up making their classes. We'll see what they bring to the table going into this map. But more often than not, you see teams on the offensive side. They love to attack that B bomb site. But every now and then, you'll see the defense try to blind counter the A push, or you'll see offense just bring out an A push, you know, for like one round. But generally, everyone goes towards B. My mentions are filled with pictures of Crimson and Tarzan. And for a second, oh, I couldn't God. tell who the difference was between the two people. You're ridiculous. I, I, genu I genuinely couldn't tell. Redwood, though, flying through the map, absolutely stunning. Uh, there's a picture of the place you and I live in, um, the, the log cabin. We can't I afford, built that with we, my bare hands. We can't afford doors, um, so people just kind of walk in all the time. Yeah, it's fine. The map starting up, though, no, actually, if there, if there was anyone's house, that would be, probably be Maven's. Uh, I think that's that's pretty clear. Um, because he doesn't have running He doesn't he has a shower because he doesn't have running Crim water. Crimson would so. love to live there. Uh, hey, this I told you, this is the map that he really started off on. Phase on defense to start things off. We'll probably watch Optic yeah, they're, looking they're through these classes. Offense. Do you see a sniper on attach? You yes, do. he does. He, is, he has. Oh, okay. So, no. Wh wh why was he saying the Locust? The SVG made it through. So, I don't know why I was talking so much about the Locust when the SVG I mean, is To be honest, control. with attach, you just never know, man. He, he's not afraid to bring out any sniper rifle. Well, he did have it. Now he swaps off, wondering if but, Phase. But he does have a class made with it. Yeah, he, do he definitely does. I'm wondering now how Phase elect to play this one since they don't have a sniper presence. They're going to push right out towards B. Scum playing in the water. And uh, now the pressure begins to come on in. First blood will go to Scump. He's got the challenge from Enable, and just like that, it's a three on three. Krim's there for the trade, though. He shuts down Enable as Optic Gaming retake the man advantage formal. He knows he's Second in Second thoughts corner. about challenging this player in your top window. Has him trapped in the corner, but doesn't know exactly. This would be a, a good moment to maybe make an A rotation. You know where both players are located. Oh, you have their backs cut off. Let's quickly talk about this. Because Formal doesn't tunnel vision on the kill, he backs up, and now look at the advantageous position he's in to stop the rotation yep. going towards A. There was almost 0% chance FaZe have any idea he's here. 
This should be a bomb plant momentarily at A and just look, look at the green arrow. Look where Formal is on the map. Yeah, if he's phase, got their whole base cut if off. If Faze send any player towards the side, Formal is... This is actually Formal's deciding to be killer. He's laying down in the bushes. Might catch these players off the Force corner one. of his eyes. Finds one, sees <laughs> the second rotating back, and Tash just runs. He he's sees his hand, yeah. I mean, that it's right there. positioning. That right there is why Formal is one of the best players in the world. Yeah. That, that round, he did not tunnel vision on the kill. He had full knowledge, full knowledge of where the player was. He had Peeker's advantage as well. But instead of just trying to chase it up and somehow, if, even if he had a 10% chance to lose that fight, yeah. he says it's not worth it when I can rotate, hold an angle, and win my team the round. I mean, it's what you got to love about him as a player. Yeah, there are many different reasons not to challenge there. One, you have nobody to follow it up. Yep. So if you die, you, even the man count back up. You want to use that numerical advantage to the best that, that you possibly can. It's looking like phase. They're going to do a quick A hit it's, where it's we see the four-man off from, the pressure. Yeah. You're going to have Skump push right up to Bunker. You're going to have Karma play the middle tree and Krim and Formal both watching over with ARs. And now they see nobody. Okay, let's rotate towards A. The bomb hasn't he sees gone his down as of yet. Clayster gets tagged up. He's got two players charging in. First blood to Scump yet again. Two rounds in a row. Bomb goes down. Definitely still a winnable round for FaZe, but they need it even out this number advantage as soon as it's possible. It's going to be three-man flank for Optic Gaming. Holding in the back is going to be Formal once again. Just trying to corner FaZe in towards the bomb site. Karma finds one. It's going to be a Tashnot coming along the wall run. He's the last one alive for his team. Hits the low, but he comes back up high as he finds one along the wall run. Finishes the kill on the Crim6, but he gets traded out shortly after that A bomb site retake. Nearly flawless from Optic Gaming. What, one thing to point out right there, right? If you think, why was that retake so easy from Optic? Granted, they did have That's the number advantage. stays alive in the back. Well, that, that is very key. But at the same time, it's because they always have a selfless player who's just willing to sacrifice himself for the retake. Mm -hmm. That time, it's Karma. Karma flies high tree, hits that top wall run, can be seen from everywhere, but because he can be seen from everywhere, everyone on phase shoots him, and all of OG get all the information they can need. They know yeah. there's one A main, there's one sitting tree, and Karma actually got a kill when he did that as well on the player on site. Worked out perfectly there for OG as they're up 2-0. FaZe, I know that you can perform way better than this in certain ways. They just look hesitant at the moment. Yeah. There, there, they know Formal's by himself on the back side of the map. Maybe you want to see them push through and try to kill him and then hold sight from that A main building. That time it didn't work out. Either way, OG up 2-0. This is such a good read from Optic Gaming. You got Karma just sitting in the back, watching the flank. There are going to be players, but it's going to be Formal needs to watch a, a little bit from the bunker side of the map. As he pushes right to the bottom oh. side, he's able to find one. Clayster's there to finish to kill Karma. Yet to find these players on the flank, but they're here as Clayster will get cleaned up here by Crim6. Karma now on the flank. Well, watching it, it's going to be enabled as he shuts him down. Crim6 now to 1v2. Crim6. 1v2, gonna have to reload that weapon. Still has grip on his M8. Definitely a fan favorite uh, from the boys of Optic Gaming to go with that attachment. And he's in his hut. He built he this with his bare hands. He's in his home. He's gonna drop into the water. Going into Navy Seal Crimsix mode. As he begins to swim on up. Planning his attack. He's got I, a flank I, coming in now from, from his base, or from his spawn, sorry. 25 seconds left. Oh, this time he can oh, really hurt him. As they're gonna wind up peeking this, I think, right as he begins to plant. Here comes the Nable flying on out. Hasn't spotted sight as of yet. Now we'll see Crim6 and should clean this one on up. There it is. Phase now on the board. Who do they give the defuse to? It looks like Enable 225, 250 from Zuma, but he also has Overdrive. They're going to be looking around for some trophy systems to destroy. Don't think they'll find any, and it looks like at the end of the day. Enable a little bit closer to his HCXD. Nope. They're going to give it to Zuma. No, they're going to give it to Enable. Yeah. It's just they're just waiting, waiting things time. out. Gain as much of that special mm -hmm. meter as possible, and then they'll hop on the defuse. Either way, FaZe showing some life. Great job from them to recognize that, hey, we have a great opportunity to flank near that A side. They do just that, and these two players held hands the entire round, and it paid off. Oh, yeah, Karma was watching the flank for Optic Gaming, but he was watching that back wall run. Yep. FaZe decide to hit the bunker, and they just find the hole in the Optic Gaming setup. It was right there. They're able to find some kills in the round, as you were saying. They pretty much held hands the entire round. Good teamwork from FaZe. Give them their first round win of Redwood Search and Destroy. Have yet to see Attach pull out the sniper right before an entire round. Still not going to go towards it. Because it's going to be FaZe here on offense. They're going to gear up for a B push. But once again, Optic Gaming attacking right through the middle of the map. And this is what they love to do. Who's that? Oh, it's going to be Scump. This time, though, Attach did get to that close wall before he could be spotted. Now a three on two. Attach is tagged. Oh, whoa, he runs into the wall. Formal takes him down. Unable. Left in the one-on-one. -on -one. Enable versus Formal. Talk about two 
crazy storylines in their competitive gaming career. Now going at it, the bomb is still down. Going to be up to enable to plant this one. Formal still watching over that middle map side. Now he'll rotate through Bunker and oh my goodness, if he followed on through and ran right in front of an able, that would have been absolutely heartbreaking for Optic Gaming fans. Formal still playing top Bunker. He's got to have an idea that the bomb is down, right? So how does he like to play this one? An able will just go pick this one up. Formal should spot him here momentarily. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Formal's looking in the right area, and just like Enable that, they spot... Oof, I don't think Enable got a glimpse of him. Formal's just playing this so perfectly, very well disciplined oh, for him. Oh, he's got it. He's and got just it. just like that. Oh, oh no, he doesn't finish the kill to Enable. He gets away. Formal doesn't see him around the corner. Do you go right for the defuse? The HCXD is going to be Coleman from this Formal Enable. No, he doesn't have Flak! Oh, 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 what a crafty play from Enable there to punish Formal for getting aggressive onto the site. Formal with no Flak checking. Oh, I thought he was just going to try to r run back towards top stairs. Instead, though, whiffs the first burst and pays the ultimate price. Phase tie it back up with two rounds in a and row. And to think Formal almost hit the perfect timing there oh, to take yeah. out Enable. Quickly, yeah, no flak jacket on Formal's class. Bites him at the end of the day. And now you see, as you take a look at the specialist meter, a lot of players getting pretty darn close to earning their abilities here. As Formal just spots up middle map, doesn't see anything just yet. Now, in a previous round, him and Karma were both using uh, danger close nades. Karma had uh, frag grenades, and Formal had some texts. <laughs> that looks so funny. Karma just throws a nade five feet from himself, but I, I actually like that decision. Formal spots no one on the flank, so instead of pushing that one out, he's got enough peace of mind to know, hey, there's no immediate pressure here. Let me go see what I can spot around the rest of the map. FaZe playing this one very passively. And that's going to give Optic a free plant in a 4 on 4 scenario. They have to worry about the flank, though. And this is a good slow push from Optic Gaming because it made two phase players rotate over towards A. The HCXD won't find a kill, but Karma, he's getting threatened here on the flank. He needs to be careful. He's been spotted. I don't, did he see the player in the back? I don't oh, think so. He definitely saw both of them He's right going to try to get away. He's he got won't be able to get it done. 4v3. Might Formal still with active camo. You've got Scump still playing this bomb side. Crim6 on those B steps. He's going to get taken down. And okay. Wow. Optic just got eliminated off the map. Phase three rounds in a row. Now you got to start to worry. If you're, fa uh, if you're Optic, what kind of streaks do we got? Enable has to have something. Yeah, they, they could flip through he's everybody. Got, he's going to have lightning. Vision Pulse as well. Okay. So. You see everything here. So you see all the streaks. You see all the specialists. This is great information from Optic, but probably not the information they wanted. They're like, oh, God. Uh, we're going I, against I, all I'm these sure much rather Optic would like to win a round yeah. over uh, seeing what phase has to work with for the future. Beautiful shots from Zuma to take down Crim6 as the challenge came in. Phase now up 3-2 to two after a rough Game 1 loss on Breach Hardpoint. Okay, so both teams back and forth here in uh -oh. the Search and Destroy. Attach has brought uh -oh. out the sniper rifle, so it's time. Let's see what kind of damage he could do with it. Attach is feeling himself right now. He's going to push right towards... This bunker side zoom up, flying out with overdrive. He's going to get aggressive right towards middle map. His overdrive is over, so I'll stop overdrive casting right there. And oh, oh, oh attach hits the body shot onto Crim6. Beautiful use of the Varric sniper right there. Zuma now playing towards middle map. And if I'm Opti Gaming, I'm not. Uh, if I'm Crim6, I haven't had to worry about a sniper all game. Yeah. So why would I expect there to be a sniper sitting top bunker? Well, unfortunately, there was one, and attach makes the most of the opportunity. Optic now going to have to worry about that one throughout the rest of the game. Formal still solo holding A. Talk about an opportunity to make a play for his team. The pressure about to come in. He's in a very strong position, but... Attach, attach with the sniper again. Opens up the entire bomb site. Flies off the tree. Hits the shot. Now a four on two. Karma and Skump for the opportunity to retake. Formal... I mean, uh, Karma maybe trying to hit that lower wall run. Scump right next to him. They're fighting down four on two. Oh two players line up for Karma. Puts in shots into one. Scump's there to clean up the kill, and now it's all down to Scumpy. A 1v3 for him. He knows one's behind the bomb site. Puts down some shots. No kill just yet. Time starting to wind down as well. Only 25 seconds to play with, and just nope. like that, Clacer cleans up the kill. FaZe take a two round lead. Uh, I mean, what? Optic at first blood, the, two rounds that they, the first two rounds they win. Since then, it's been all FaZe. It's been all FaZe. What do you want to see Optic Gaming change up in these next couple rounds to bring this game back in their favor? Um, it's kind of hard because they have been playing it as a team for the most part. I think you stick with that middle push. You, you put pressure onto the sniper from attach, force him to hit those shots, and if he misses, you pick up the kill. You, you have some abilities to work with here. You got Karma. He's got his overdrive. You still have camo on formal. The other guy's getting pretty close to their abilities as well, but they haven't decided to use him yet. These nades will find a target early on. 
Actually, they tag up quite a few here. No middle map. This could be it. the opening optic need to come back into this game. No. But Clayster gets first blood. Karma does respond, but oh, he's Clay. cleaned up as well. Clay with some crispy shots with the M8. They've got three specialists ready to go as well. Yeah, challenge. Crim6 has been spotted. He tries to challenge the kill, but he's paranoid. He knows there could be pressure from top uh, from top control. Scump is getting tagged up. Crim6 goes to challenge. He finds attach. Pops and pulse. They're literally on top of each other, though. Clayster finds the third for the ace. Can he get it done? Clayster with the ace wins phase the round, and phase win five in a row to be one round away from winning this game six to two. Look at this awkward engagement as he just swaps over and somehow gets the kill in the end. You thought this one was awkward, right about the, the one right before this, the vision pulls, they just bump heads. <laughs> that, was, that was an awesome scenario right outside that back green side. Optic Gaming one round away from letting FaZe back into the series, tied up one-to-one, -one, and you've got Enable Still. with Lightning, with Dart, with Vision Pulse. Hey, Attach hey. about to get his streak as well, or uh, Specialist as well. Karma just used his Specialist, and oh my gosh, Attach is ready and waiting. Clayster, if he jumps up, he could spot this player behind the tree. Enable still with his streaks to use. They do spot him, I believe. Yes, they do. So they're going to deploy the HCXD to force him out of position. Just like that, Enable picks up the kill onto Crim6. Formal also used his camo a bit earlier here. And now they're, they're going to rotate back. With the beat it's all down. Scump. Scump in the one versus four. If he gets a kill, he earns Kinetic. That'll basically be a saving grace of this one to keep Optic Gaming alive in game two. He gets challenged by the Kinetic of Attach. Tagged up. Will pop Kinetic himself, but it's not enough. Clayster with the kill. Six straight rounds for FaZe as they make slight work of Optic there in game two. All right. Solid search and destroy work from FaZe overall as a team. I mean, Attach, when he brings out the sniper, you could see that clearly a game changer when he brings that gun out. Yeah, we see, you know, Optic Gaming, they kind of just mop up phase in game one and then phase answer back in that S&D. And Optic looked and pretty good in the OG. early rounds. It, it was, it, what it, it's kind of funny is phase looked pretty good at times in the hard point. Optic looked pretty good at times in the S&D. Yeah. But in the end, it was more, it was, the, it was the more consistent team in the hard point and in the S&D that deserved to win. Whether that's in slang or first bloods, phase just get the better of OG there. And it wasn't like there was one player to blame on Optic Gaming. It just things just didn't work out in their favor a lot of times. Oh yeah, some missed timings from them as yeah. well, and uh, FaZe just capitalizing on the opportunities they were presented with, but uh, a pretty good search and destroy game overall. Uh, gotta give props to Enable as well as Clayster. They were the top two performers on that FaZe team. I mean, Definitely. Enable, he doesn't even get a chance to use the streaks that he acquired. And still with Vision Pulse as well, what I, well, you know FaZe is confident, right? And you know they're feeling good in their S&D when Attach makes the right play call to wait for the push at the top bunker because they've done it almost every round from yeah. Optic, whether it was Scump or Karma in the end with, a, with, I believe it was Overdrive. And then when Enable tags the player at that side tree near the A site, then they follow it out with the HG, and because he knows the player's going to fall back, Enable just re-peaks, doing a great job of hover peeking, getting the kill. Here's a look at your after-action report. Quadruple positive from Enable, three plants, two defuses, wow. literally did everything right there for his team. And Attach at seven and six, but the kills Attach got were almost entirely first bloods. Major difference maker, swung a lot of rounds in his team's favor. Right, what is it, the first round he brings out the sniper, he gets the opening kill, and Look, then they rotate over towards zero. A and you it's find two one zero. There. And then from there, phase just go one. They win six straight. Two, three, and, and so on and so forth. There was the first time he got the snipe. Beautiful yeah. shot from Attach. And Clay, Clay with that with that one burst headshot was just so dirty. This was the awkward engagement where Clayster got the ace. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, I, I wound up checking Twitter for one second. The first tweet I see, Mama Clayster just tuned in. She said she likes what she sees, and then Clay gets an ace the round after. Kind of funny uh, timing how that wound Perfect up timing. working out. And that was a look at map two. Phase take it. Optic Gaming now going into evac uplink. Mm -hmm. How do you want to see him play this one in the Banner Protect phase? It's tough. I think you want to protect Afterburner. I think that really helps out Zuma here, just being able to cover so much of the map very quickly. Instead, they decide to go after Heatwave once again, while Optic Gaming are still targeting that Man of War. Oh, for sure. As uh, we continue on through things, OG, as you mentioned, get rid of the Man of War. No surprises there. Overdrive. Overdrive as well from Formal. So already two ability specialists off the table. Rapid Fire still available. Overclock as well as Active Camp. Those things are probably going to get targeted pretty soon, I think. There goes the concussions. Optic Gaming like to target Camo here, but I won't be surprised to see FaZe ban it out either.
Placer making the decision. He decides to go with Rapid Fire. So flashbangs and then camo to round things out. Uh, definitely could potentially be just that. Or, I mean, Shiva is still up as well. And we've already seen Shiva. Are you worried about the Shiva on this map? I mean, you I use the ban for the air on the Man of War. Personally, who, who knows uh, at this time? It looks like okay. that's kind of how phase feel. Overclock, overclock camo is still available, yeah. which can definitely be very useful uh, in, in the likes of like the hands of Crim6, right? Mm -hmm. He knows exactly how to use camo on a map like this. Scup with Kinetic. Where so, do you expect to see Zuma go? Do you expect Zuma to go Scythe and then Clayster with Tempest because of how many oh, yeah. ability specialists have been banned? Yeah, I think so. So I think you go for two here with uh, Overdrive and Heat Wave being out. Yeah, enable camo, attach Kinetic, Clayster, Tempest, Crim6 camo, uh, Karma with Psychosis maybe? You could go with the weapon as well. Doesn't strike me as a as a weapon guy though. Goes with psychosis. Okay. <laughs> Good pick. Well, attach rounds. That's why I want to be adopted armor. by him. I yeah. just know. I just know. I just know him so darn well. But we are going into Uplink, which is game three. If you are new to competitive Call of Duty, there's four different game types we play. It's a best of five series uh, here in the COD World League. Game one is Hardpoint. Game two is S&D. Game three is Uplink. Game four is CTF. And then game five, again, is Search and Destroy, the only game mode that's played twice. Uplink, though, if you've never seen it, we have a great little breakdown video for you. Let's take a look at Uplink 101. Uplink is a favorite mode within the esports community because of its fast-paced, aggressive nature. This mode features two teams clashing in an attempt to score a satellite drone into an enemy's floating Uplink station. The drone will be spawned in a neutral point between players' locations. Players must then get to the spawn location to fight over control of the drone. Every drone thrown through the Uplink station scores one point. However, two points are awarded if the drone is carried through the goal. Uplink forces players to push into enemy territories and to hold their position. The player with the drone loses their equipped weapon, but gains an additional protective armor, assisting them while their guard is down. After two rounds, alternating between map sides, the team with the most points wins the match. Uplink brings on a whole new aggressive gameplay that requires players to solidify their teamwork and conquer map control. Maven sounds so beautiful there. I learned, I just learned everything I need to know about Uplink. From Maven? From Maven. Maven, Maven is the most game knowledge of any person in Black Ops 3, more than the pros. You look like you're about to get sick, are you okay? <laughs> I just saw your whole demeanor change when I said that. Oh, I, I, I couldn't be lying. You more. say some questionable things, Kurt. I couldn't I, be I lying more. That might he, be... he just says things, and then when he's wrong, and like Mr. X calls him out on it, he just gets louder until Mr. X is like, "I don't want to yell. I don't. I don't want to have to keep yelling about this topic." How many times has that happened? Every day. <laughs> Every time he casts. No, either way, I hear the guys getting hyped over there. I just checked my Twitter, and apparently DT just six owed Envy in S and D. From from I don't know how game one went, but. Wow. Envy struggles continue. I have no idea what's going on with that team at this point. Don't, you, you Obviously, kinda... something's wrong with their team chemistry, the relationship between the players. Something's going wrong there. Envy, they need fixes yeah. ASAP. You kind of just need wanna, like a counseling. You just want to sit them down in like four chairs, right? If you're Hastro and just we go need like this, Dr. Maven. just go whoop, bop, 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 and slap them all in the what? face, right? And just wake up, wake up, call boys. What are we doing? You're going into stage one finals. Your four very talented players, wake up. That's how. That's how you. That's how you're a team owner. I'd be a great team owner. Just slap, I would not like to play for your team. In the face. <laughs> you guys have lost sword out. Bang. Done. That's happened to you, right? Never. Okay. Well, you know, maybe you just haven't lived lived enough in life. As in my professional career, that's happened to me multiple times. As we go into game three. Okay. It's Zuma. We're watching off the start. He's going to push right in towards Kitchen, but it's going to be a four-man optic push right towards the drone. Will this flank from Zuma pay off? We'll have to see. Yeah, I was thinking Zuma would be using Afterburner Overclock here since both those make it through, but respecting the danger close that can be brought out from this optic gaming team, and they're already running the drone so far forward. Karma with this one gets the beatdown on Enable as he's looking to go right through this back room. He's got some help from Crim6. He's going to go ahead and pass it to his teammate, and just like that, they get a dunk. And 30 seconds, unbelievable start. And three go down from phase, attached to the last one live. He is pushed up pretty close to the, the drone carrier. Does take down Skump, can't find the second, as it's going to be the remaining phase players coming off of respawn. Yeah, Optics still have a presence near that drone, but I believe it's, yeah, it's going to be this HC that gets called in. The first kill goes in favor of OG. 
Krim catches his opponent off guard. By the way, five kill spree. He hasn't actually died yet in this game. He's going to spot another player in helipad. Ooh, some shaky shots there as Attach gets the better of him. It looks like Optic won't be able to get the score unless Scott makes a monster play. Yeah, Karma nope. gets stopped going for the dunk. Clayster retrieves the drone, and they're going to decide to wrap it through Kitchen, but it's going to be Enable along with Attach. Well, now just Enable trying to push this lane out ahead of time, which is exactly what you want to do in this game mode. I think you want to push out the lane ahead of the drone carrier so that he doesn't have to worry about getting shot on the side just like that. The drone falls off the map, gets reset, where you already have Attach here waiting for the, the drone. It most certainly is. Attach pops his kinetic armor. He'll go to challenge on up. Does fall to the hands of Scum. One point toss does get put in. Phase now on the board. And look, it's Clayster with this reflex sight. M8, really the best class you could ask for from a position like that. Krim finally gets him, but Clay takes down three before falling. Yeah, he was set up really well there. And Krim, seven and two to start this map off. Phase, they need to shut him down ASAP. That's going to be a good start from Zuma as he takes down Krim with the drone. Looking Ooh. for the second. Puts in some good shots into Karma, but you know Karma, once he's able to, he's going to reset that drone armor, but he's going to be hitting no, this no, low no, wall run. Karma's going for some crazy wall run action right now. He's got one player peeking. Oh! Oh, he's Enable getting real fancy! He jukes him for a second. Clayster finally does take him down, doesn't fall for the bait, and... Okay, well, you know... Wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a phase match if yeah, we didn't it catch would, Clay falling it, it off the would, map. It, it wouldn't be evac unless Clayster fell off the map 17 times. Well, that's one. We can start our tally now. <laughs> we got a lot to go. <laughs> It's going to be Karma now with control of the neutral drone. I think he's just going to toss up for yards. Yeah, he's just looking to maybe 15 it. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't fall back down. Karma gets two. Optic with three specialists ready to go. Look for them to utilize his power spike here as they try to push this lead even further. Right now, though, Optic up 2-0 on the less favored side. They've got to be feeling pretty darn good. Get up 2-1. Definitely a good start from them as they're just slowing down phase. The, the idea when you're on the side of phase is to push up take control of the enemy team's top AC, put pressure on their, on their spawns, and you could get a scoring train going pretty easily from there. As it looks like Skump used his uh, specialist ability there. Karma now is going to use his psychosis to lead the way forward as he picks up two kills. Krim, he's also got camo to use, but he gets shut down from behind. Formal is there to trade the kill, and yes, Scumpy did use his kinetic armor on that push. It's going to be Formal now with the drone. Goes for the one-point toss. Is oh. he going to sink it? No, no, it gets picked off from Attach. Beautiful stuff from Attach, and again, they're going to rotate this one towards Kitchen. Always the thing that comes in with these pushes is how does okay. the timing wind up working? Because there, there, there could be a pinch. It looks like Optic haven't gone for it as of yet. Enable should be taken down here momentarily by Crimsix, but he's somehow still alive. Uses Finally, too. Formal takes matters into his own hands to take him down. And just like that, Optic Gaming look to hold off this phase push yet again. Yeah, they've done a really <laughs> a good job of just defending <laughs> their base as Karma goes back on the wall run. Let's see if he jukes anyone out this time as he's just looking to waste more time off the clock. That's what you want to do if you're on the side of Optic Gaming. If you go into the half with a lead, you're more than happy with that. Most of the time, when you're on the side that Optic Gaming start on, you're looking to, to like, a good half for you is losing by, like, three, four points. Well, Scump is just going to settle for this one, but instead, Zuma has other plans. Beautiful interception the second time this game phase has made it happen. Still a two to one game, very evenly matched. Multiple specialists ready to go for the likes of FaZe. Are they gonna elect to use them prior to the half happening? Oof, Attach gets the kill there after a, an unfortunate beatdown scenario for, for Karma. Oh, oh, big kills oh, from oh, Scumpy as he takes goodness. down Clayster. Just disintegrates Zuma directly after that. And now he's going on the flank and he's gonna find Clayster off respawn, but just some unfortunate timing. He How? will get shut down, but three go down for Optic Gaming. This is still an opportunity for FaZe to put some points on the board. It's going to be Karma in a position now to contest this neutral drone. Goes towards top glass, finds one up top, takes down Clayson now looking towards the drone. More players from FaZe pushing forward, but time's starting to run out, only 10 seconds remaining. This is looking like it's going to go into the half with a one-point lead for OG. Krim gets the better of Enable right there. No one has picked up the objective as of yet. And yeah, that's going to do it. Optic Gaming up two to one. In this game three, reminder, if you are just tuning in, the series score is one to one at the moment after FaZe clutched up in SD. Yep. Optic Gaming in an okay, in a pretty good position now going into this second side on EVAC uplink. They have a lead, but this is a pretty low scoring game for what we usually expect on EVAC. Okay. I'll definitely agree with you on that one. Wondering now, though, how well Optic can kind of keep FaZe pinned in that spawn trap right outside that kitchen area. They could definitely get it done. We saw Rise uh, do it earlier on tonight in their matchup. A 
attach. Has oh, his drone. He's, he's got no in. help, though, as three of his teammates have already fallen. They've spotted the fourth as well. It's a perfect break for Optic Gaming as Karma will pick up the drone, pass it forward to Crimson, who's on a five streak. Yeah, they want Krim to get uh, camo as many times as possible throughout this game. It's just going to make it so much easier to get that drone through the portal. Oh Pushes gosh. forward. He's the Karma guard right now as gone along the wall run. It's none <laughs> other than Karma. Not sure where he's gone with this one, but... I feel like I feel like half the time is Karma's team. Picks it up, Wait, by the way. what? Okay, I feel like half the time as, as a teammate of Karma, you just need to go, like, a, a three quarters of the way through the game, you just need to go, Damon, please stop. <laughs> Can we just win now? And he's like, all right, fine, I'll stop wall running every time I make up the, the objective. He's not even, he's, I don't even think he was trying to score there. <laughs> he just wanted to wall run behind the back side of the map and have some fun. Either way, though, FaZe do regain control of the drone spot. What? There's an HGXD that's decided to flip onto his back. Karma okay. now pushed up with Crim6. They're going to take down Attach, and just like that, Optic Gaming look to regain control of the drone. Yeah, Zuma falls. Now Skump has a chance to push out the lane ahead of time. One kill off an at HG. least one nope. top AC, but he falls. It's going to be Karma. Once again, <laughs> probably going to hit this wall run, and you know, this is fine because he's wasting time off the clock, and more often than not, the drone just falls <laughs> off the map. Clay has brought out the Tempest, he's, by the way. He's literally... Does he go for the one here? Uh, he hasn't yeah. as of yet, and now he'll try to. Finally, he does fall, going for that extremely low wall run. The first time I ever saw that hit, it was by Apex, Phase Apex, and he just posted on Twitter. It was absolutely hysterical because he had no idea he could do it. Karma trying to take a page out of his book there. Doesn't work out as Phase hold it off. Still 2-1. to one. It's been 2-1 to one for, what, five, six minutes now? Yeah. I, it, I mean... For the most part, Optic Gaming got a dunk and FaZe got the one-point toss, so after that one-point toss, it's when that gets popped here. Krim also used his camo earlier in it's that series time. of plays. And yeah, Zuma's gonna bring out the site. Attach uses his specialist, I believe. Krim6 with a beautiful kill. Down onto Zuma, that's gonna stop that specialist from being put into play. Attach holds off the push now from Krim6. Still an even number advantage near the drone. These next few kills will be crucial for an opportunity to get a push going. Attach gets the first. Attach follows up with the second. And just like that, FaZe have a four-man presence near the drone. Going to be up to Crim6 and Scump to stop this push. Yeah, however, when it's, whenever it's came down to getting these clutch defensive kills, Optic Gaming have, have made the kills uh, time and time again. But there's a team kill like from that. Karma. All four go down for Optic Gaming. It's going to be Zuma surging forward, hits the ledge slide. He's going to go in for the dunk, and he gets it. Wow. Just like that, FaZe take the lead. Enable following this one up. He's got Camo, and he's about to take the neutral drone. Three to two. They push forward with the objective again. The she gets the kill. Phase are surging. Enable now flooding on out. He'll pop the active camo and he'll just waltz on in to the portal. Four points in 20 after. seconds. And to add insult to injury, takes down Scump. Phase clan have woken up as they are now up by two possessions. Tossing the drone forward. He knew he was being challenged by Karma. Good decision from Clacer right there. Zuma turns around, picks up that kill. Where's it attaching all this? He's flanking the remaining Optic Gaming members. He, he sees one on the side platform. Will find the kill there on the Crim6. Knows there's one more near the drone. As Clacer just looking to control top glass. Zuma here to follow up, just trying to stop Optic Gaming from pushing forward in this lane. You can see Zuma holding this angle. We've seen Parasite do that before on the likes of Complexity. Karma on the flank. Does wind up spotting two. You've got Crim6 moving up with the drone as well. Doesn't have camo ready as of yet. Goes for the pass and actually hits off the wall, but he still has help from Karma. Now we'll go for the pass. Karma with this objective. He's waiting for some lead blockers to come on in. He'll drop it down at the bottom green. Crim6 finds one. There's a okay. second kill from Scump. Optic Gaming back within one as they try to show that they are still here in this game. Enable rotating towards middle map. He needs to make a hero play for FaZe. Yeah, Crim is about to get his active camo as he pushes oh forward. Karma used his psychosis. This could be it. Optic Gaming looking oh, to retake the lead. He gets it. Dunk, he gets it. Optic Gaming now up by one point with 45 seconds remaining. But that's going to be three down formal. This is the time for to step up. That can't he happen. Around, he burns and turns. That can't uh, happen. Right there. But kinetic armor from attach. That gets burned as well. As FaZe, they're running out of time here. Only 30 seconds remaining. They most certainly are. Optic Gaming up 6 to 5. And Able gets 2. Can't clean up formal. HG now being brought out by Optic Gaming. Zuma finds one with the VMP. Clayster follows on up. Karma hops Can't out get the kill. of that HG. He gets taken down. Dro now in the hands they of Clayster. Attach finds two. They They've got two players to get past. Can't Clay go for the one. Crim six with the Attach? hole. Attach gets the beat down. He's still alive, but they need to follow this one up. And second left, and Karma gets the two piece. He'll hold off the push, and that will do it. Optic Gaming take map number three Ooh. after a Hail Mary from Damon Karma Barlow. What an ending there. We're going to take another look at this. As a formal in the round ending kill cam. 
kills that furthest pushed up player from phase. What a close game. Only one wow. point separating both of them for a minute there. It was looking like phase Ooh. as they took the lead with the back to back dunks, but Optic Gaming, they answer right back with two of their own as they take the lead. It's kind of ironic that the one time where FaZe was able to dunk and take the lead was because of a team kill from Karma's yeah. grenade. And then at the end, the thing that holds off the push in the final moment when the player's about to pick up the drone is a grenade from Karma. As FaZe wind up losing that map by one. one and attach drops by 32. Attach, 32 and 20 from attach right there. But three of the four players on OG positive. Formal, the only one really lagging behind there at 22 and 28. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. Formal in the hard point as well. He does, he's not getting as kills as many kills as, you, as we usually see from him. I'm going to say, if there's any player who can take a little breather right now, it's Formal. Formal, yeah. Formal, Formal deserves to have some matches where he doesn't have to drop 45 uh, every time for Optic Gaming. Okay. I'm sure when it matters most at Stage yeah. 1 Finals, we'll see Formal drop 78 kills and Maven have to be rushed to the hospital because he, he, he had a heart attack on the, well, casting the match. As we go, though, into the scoreboard, so close for FaZe. Got to be heartbreaking for the Red Militia fans as that was a game that just slipped past you. You had a four-point or three-point lead, sorry, going into the final minute, and then Optic with a great rally with the drone, beautiful use of passing, and they had the specialist to back it up as yeah. well. Slight slaying advantage to Optic, but nothing too crazy that would really shift the match so much in their favor. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, really, the, the big thing that we can point out here was the 32 kills from Attach. He just had a, a phenomenal game, but it just wasn't enough to lead his team into victory. As we take a look at some of the highlights from that uplink match, so this is that dunk, the first dunk, and then after that, phase get the one pointer. So I think we went at least at least five minutes without seeing another score after that. Okay. Yeah, it. it I mean, it definitely was something. Was quite close some to that. time. It was absolutely nuts. I don't know. Uh, I think what just happened. Maybe Mr. X just started squealing. I don't I know. Have, Something happened in the uplink. I have no idea what just happened. If DT beat Envy, man. Woo. I don't know. I don't know about Wait, Envy. What was that sound? <laughs> that's a, that's just a terrible spot to be in yeah. uh, if you're envious heading into the final match. And I believe Envy tomorrow would wind up facing H2K. H2K. So, either way, great match up here. Great matches on the secondary stream. This night is everything I could have wanted it to be in more. Revan. I'm glad we get to spend it together. I'm I'm glad we do too. I, I but I believe we just got a tweet in from somebody from our question yeah. we asked earlier on about your favorite moment in uh, in. in the COD World League Stage 1. That's and a good Wolf one. Choke says Naga Fed's 1v4 in 10 seconds. There, I, What's funny is, right, we mentioned like the fails and the funny parts and some highlights, but then every time I've actually spent a few more seconds thinking of these big plays, the plays like this, I, I forgot that even happened. That moment was nuts when, when Naga Fed 1v4. Twitter That's uh, imploded. Probably the quickest one I've ever seen. Yeah, that was, oh, I, I would assume so. I mean, you played professionally. Have you ever seen anything like Along those lines, I've had my fair share of one v fours back in the day. Against you, right? <laughs> no, I, I won v four some teams. Okay, well, you know, come on, give me some credit, Jack. No, all right, I'll give you that. You, you did play professionally. I didn't, obviously, but yeah, um, always good to reminisce. Got to check your right. ego sometimes, man. <laughs> it's, it's, hey, it's getting don't, out of control. Don't forget my one gold trophy. The picture. I won't forget. You, you have it hung on your wall. No, it, it fell actually. My, 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 I was sleeping the other night. I was sleeping about two weeks ago, and my picture frame of my gold trophy on the wall fell, and the glass shattered, and I woke up in a frenzy. And um, it's a sign. I'll be honest. I, I almost, I almost, um, almost cried. I was. It kind of really scared me. Because I had no clue where glass broke from. I thought our window in the front just got broken into. Anyways, moving into the bed and protects game four between FaZe and Optic Gaming. It's going to be breach, capture the flag. Once again, we see FaZe going after that heat wave specialist. It's had a pretty big impact on the games previously. Skump decides to take out overdrive, so the abilities early on getting targeted here. Maybe things start to normalize as uh, we see some tacticals get targeted. Yep, there's the flashbang, there's high caliber from Clacer, so now things getting a bit more standard. Uh, as we continue on through this Band of Protect phase, we have Overclock on. Again, do we see Attach, or sorry, Zuma from FaZe target the Shiva in this one? They did so before. Normally, I would think it would be Optic Gaming going after that because I've seen them lose countless games on the back of a, a Shiva making it through. But nope. this time, again. it's been FaZe consistently banning that one out. Pretty standard banner protects aside from the Heat Wave getting taken out. I would think uh, Smoke Grenades make it through. Maybe that's something we could see. But other than that, nothing too crazy. Yeah, real, really nothing at all. It doesn't surprise me with, with FaZe and Optic Gaming, right? You can kind of see 
how the how, how the bands will break down as the series starts on up. Kinetic Armor, the first pick from both Attach and Skump. You're going to have Camo from Crim6, and wouldn't actually be surprised to see the same thing followed up by Clayster. You think they're going to go? Oh, oh no, so okay. he goes so with he the Tempest. Tempest. So now, does that leave Zuma Scythe? Does that leave with Zuma Scythe and they go for a 2-2 split? I think so. I think that's going to be the Karma, game plan Karma, maybe Psychosis again, and they go with a 3-1 setup. Yep, yeah. that is. So it's going to be three special abilities for Optic Gaming and two for Phase. What do you like more here? Uh, I'm a big fan of the Tempest, man. I, I think the Tempest is pretty sick. You can absolutely use it not only to hold off your base in, in times okay. so you need to, but also if Clay's running the flag, you can absolutely be a flag runner with the Tempest because of the hip fire ability. You and get also, like double bonus points. Yeah. It, oh gosh, you get you you will just rack rake in score streaks time and time again. Either way, though, Optic Gaming up two to one after a. I'm sure Optic Gaming fans didn't like how close that uplink was, but a win is a win. Yeah. Heading into Breach CTF. Predictions for this one. Do you see FaZe forcing the Game 5 or Optic Gaming closing it out? I actually see FaZe forcing the Game 5 here. I think they're a really good CTF team. I think um, they'll find a way. And I think we're going to go back to Infection for another Game 5. Now, I will say that when Optic had lost, I think it was when Optic lost their CTF to DT weeks that was ago. Stronghold. Weeks ago. That was Stronghold. But weeks ago, when I saw Optic scrimming to get better at CTF because they recognized, like, we can't let this ever happen again, they played on this map, and it was like, I think they were, I think they were facing CLG, and they went up, like, 7-0 in in side one. They, they, they oh. outside their opponents by, like, 25 kills oh. on side one. It's pretty good. OG, they know on this map exactly how the spawns work, right? A lot of teams have got, gotten that figured out, but Optic Gaming especially have this one figured out. Look for them to do a fantastic okay. job of holding lanes, especially the likes of Formal playing that top middle role with an AR, whether he rotates top broken and watches over green, or he plays top middle and top AC to watch over that bottom palace side. Either way, though, we're just waiting for the players to set up their specialists, and then we'll be into this game Revan, you think it goes five games. I want to hear your thoughts. Send us, send them to us on Twitter. I've got a ton so far. I want everybody out there watching to send them on in. Who wins game four? If it goes game five, what's the round count in SND if you think it goes all the way? Or do you think this one's going to end here? At Courage JD, at Revan JB. Use the hashtag CWLPS4. Here we go, though. Ma map four loading on up. Breach CTF is the map. I it's going to be I'm crazy. Excited. I'm excited for this one. I've seen both teams have phenomenal CTF games. Yep. I've seen both teams, you know, have some heartbreaking losses. Most recently, the TK win against FaZe and that overtime Gosh. CTF, another one of my most memorable moments from uh, stage one. So many. And another big heat wave play on this map, too, was Karma's, obviously. When the flag yeah. was being run through construction, he had that one timing window where he hit that middle wall run. Heat waves the players are right outside green and clutches up the round for his team there. Either way, though, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have begun to load on in. It's going to be FaZe spawning up outside that uh, AC vent side, and then yeah. obviously uh, OG spawning near lab. Who are we watching up the start, Revan? I'm going to be watching Zuma. Okay. I'm a big fan of Zuma. I love the way he moves around the map. Tommy Papa? Yeah, I think he's a... Uh, I was a little surprised when Maven kind of threw Attach's name up there as a best player, because okay. I thought Zuma definitely makes a, a good case for being up in that list. Oh, there, there are a lot of players who can make a great case uh, for that one. I actually had Scup on my screen, and he ran into his teammate for the first four seconds of this game, so they're a little bit behind on the run. Now finally peeking towards top AC. That let the player top broken get that advantage, but Formal still so aggressive. wins against Clayster, and that's going to be Zuma already two kills, and he's on Optic Gaming's flag in 18 seconds. Oh, he's going to get a touch already, and he's going to decide to run this one right through bottom lab. And this might catch this might catch him completely off guard. Scump holding this angle. Come oh on, attach. The Did flag doesn't fall off the map. No, no, no. Attach okay. is still there, but kills are going in favor of Optic Gaming. Attach will pick this one up, run it right towards bottom closet, tries to oh, turn a burn on the scum. He gets it, but there's two players here watching for him. And Krim pulls the flag in the meantime. Oh, this is going to work out in Optic Gaming's favor unless Attach Wait. can make the biggest play of the night. Attach finds one. He's watching his back door. He's getting pinched on. There's the return, but on the other side of the map, Enable does just the same. Wait, no! He doesn't get the return. No! It's going to be Formal pushing forward. He's going to get a touch on this flag, but Zuma once again has made it back. He gets the kill on the Formal. The flag is still in play. He needs to get there's a turn. He's got oh shut down, God. and there we go. Both flags now at base, and we could take a bit of a breather. Re things Revan, will your voice just went up seven octaves. You, you, you actually just went back before puberty again. That's that's yeah. what you sounded like when you were 12 on Xbox Live. Now that I know, as we continue on through, it's going to be enabled with this M8 pushing in towards cages. He's got one player right in front of him. 
that player actually rotates back up off towards that top AC nice area. Shots. Enable in the one-on-one, -on -one, but you, you mentioned nice shots. Crim6 gets a better room there. Oh yeah, and now it's going to be Scum pushing forward for Optic Gaming. Clayster trying to finish his kill, and he does so. Once again, both flags return, but Clay turns right around. He sees two more Optic members going to be challenging him. Let's switch over to Formal. Never mind, oh. he's dead. Let's see what Karma <laughs> that's, is doing. That's the absolute worst of your driving. Let's watch this players. They go to make a huge play, and it's, and it's all over. Three As go down for Optic. There's a nice presence near top green. They hold off their base, and now Scump is just going to play this side as Zuma just fell off the map. Taking a, a page out of Clayster's book right there. I think he actually ran into his teammate. That's yeah. why. Anyways, Optic continuously, they've been pushing forward through that construction side of the map. Clayster going to try to push forward through lab, but he gets taken out there as it's going to be three from phase that fall. Zuma in a good position to shut down Formal. Oil. Okay. okay. Formal somehow staying alive, hitting the wall run, the wall run one. Zuma's like, w wait, where did he go? <laughs> But great movement from Formal there, as he's looking for oh, some more kills over near the glass. Psychosis pop from Karma as he can't get away with the flag. Karma tries to make a crafty play there. Doesn't wind up working out. Scump does get the challenge in his favor. He'll now begin to rotate this flag back towards bottom green. Who's the player set up ready to watch us? It's going to be Attach. He knows Scump is still there, obviously, because he's getting the pings. But Attach will be shot in the back, not watching. That cage side, and now it's going to be up to phase to try to get the stop in Optic Gaming's base. Zuma with the entry kill, making it a three on three. He'll begin to charge on out. Oh. Crimson and Formal find one of each That's a cat. of their own, and yep, just like that, Optic Gaming will go up one to zero. The final player is nowhere near OG's base. There's the cap. Okay, so now phase their first order of business is to kill Scumpy. You you know, he's got streak, a flag yeah. gap behind him. You know he's going to be working towards some more streaks. And uh, Formal, he's starting to heat up, man. So he heard me talking a bit about him. In the previous map, he's 11 and 6, leading his team right now. Karma in position to get another flag pull for Optic Gaming. Scumpy does die, so you stop his progression towards streaks. Karma will get out of harm's way as Krim is pushing out his lane, getting his cuts. They got vision of one. Beautiful <laughs> use of Krim 6 to get that free engagement onto the player sitting at that AC vent. Optic Gaming looking for another rally, and this is what I'm talking about. They know what cuts they need to watch. Unfortunately there, though, Formal does wind up looking towards that back AC side, so he'll get Karma taken dies. down with the Scythe. Three players do fall, they're gonna get this return, and now it's FaZe's turn to go for a flag cap. Krim, he's gonna push forward, put himself in a position to maybe make something happen. He's coming up right behind one player. Attach is gonna watch the overextension. Oh no, Krim, I think he knows he's here. Yes, he does, he picks up the kill into Attach. Immediately, he pulls the FaZe oh flag, gosh. runs in through bottom broken, he's got his teammates behind flag him. In the meantime, Scott picks up the kill, he gets the return as well. Krim now pushing forward. This is looking like Optic Gamer are gonna go up 2-0 over FaZe. Uh, uh, but wait uh, uh, on uh, the overextension, it's gonna be Enable once again. Enable might get the timing he needs, he's there, he spots the player, can he get the kill in time? Krim 6, <laughs> just shreds him, he's on a five streak, he's fully streaked out. Optic Gaming up 2-0, looking to close the door here on phase in game four. Especially now you got score streaks in the pocket of Crim6, the lightning strike, the Hellstorm missile. We all know how huge of an impact these streaks oh, yeah. have on a game mode like CTF. 23 seconds remaining on side one. Crim will finally get taken down off his five streak. Formal at 13 and nine. You mentioned how he's had a couple quiet games in this one. Now has started to heat up. Scump, beautiful base defense there with another solid two piece. He's looking for a third as Formal is there to help him out. Five seconds remaining, Optic Gaming will go into the half. Up 2-0 in flag count. They're making a good case to win this match 3-1 over FaZe. It definitely is looking like it as of right now. Here's your final kill cam from Formal. Leading the lobby with 15 kills at the moment. Oh gosh, I didn't realize this, Revan. But if you bring up the scoreboard here momentarily, who's the guy that's standing out for you in Clayster? this lobby? Clayster, triple negative. I mean... Definitely a reason why some of those cuts have been tough to get to for the submachine guns as there's ARs like Formal just having a field day right now, winning every engagement. But FaZe have a lot of specialists to use here. They have the Scythe, they have the Tempest, and they have Kinetic. Okay. So maybe they could use those in an offensive manner. Great start from FaZe, two go down for Optic, make it three. They know the last player's over near top broken as FaZe, this is a good start from them. Attach probably is gonna use his Kinetic armor as he turns around the corner here and picks up the flag. Oh, he gets the impede. He can't Oof. even pop it. Flag now being brought right towards that top broken area. Kills happening in middle map. Oh, they this need to is watch perfect. their middle cuts. Formal does win the engagement, but this should still be a cap. Attach actually slowing down might help Optic, but no. He's got this one in. Phase strike within the first 40 seconds. I, I, I mean, if you're a fan of Phase, you can't ask for a better way to start side two. Yeah, especially since they didn't even have to use any of their specialists right there. No. 
And Crimson, see, he's like, well, you're too far away. No point in using any score streaks to maybe stop you or slow you down. Formal, by the way, 20 and 10 on a five spree. He's going to deploy his HCXD, find some phase defenders here, picks up the initial call onto Attach. As Optic Gaming, they call him the second one as well. They find the other <laughs> defender to enable. Here comes Formal. There's the Tempest. Shuts down the Tempest just like that. As three go down for phase, you see Zuma. He's in a great location to maybe stop oh, this. Oh, no, he's been seen. Oh, he shoots a clone! Ooh, Karma jukes him! He shoots a clone from the Psychosis Scum now moving forward, but wait, at the base, it's gonna be Karma once again! What? Picks up the kill into attach. The Lightning Strike comes in, Clayster picks up the kill, but this is looking good for Optic Game to retake the lead. Wait! Clayster finds the kill! The Hellstorm Gets misses! The second! There's the return! The return! Oh my god, and they're gonna continue to run this flag. They've got players pushing it from bottom green. Enable wins the first engagement. Crim6 has been spotted. They follow up. <gasps> The sneaky beaver himself shuts down the push single-handedly, and well, wait, Optic Clayster? fail the cap. Crim Six makes the play back, and it looks like we might have a stalemate here momentarily. What a crazy CTF game we've seen! I didn't see who it was, but somebody didn't check their corners. But wait, Clayster, he's gonna earn some score streaks. Immediately calls in the lightning strike, so he's gonna keep the flag carrier Crim Six pinned Pin. in. They've got him pinned. He destroys, destroys the HC. Enable gets a kill middle map. Clayster is by himself with this flag and Optic Gaming. They're going to elect to try to protect this flag carrier as there's such a heavy phase presence on the map. Attach, still alive in the base of Optic Gaming. He needs to be the difference maker right here. Has to use the EMPs to check and he'll pay the price. Skump takes him down. Crim6 doing what he can to stay alive. I can't with believe this that missed. I can't believe... I can't believe FaZe got to stop, then I can't believe the Hellstorm missed, then I can't believe the play Crim6 made with the camo. Disgusting two-piece, somehow Karma spots Clayster. There's also presence in the back electrical area. Enable here needs to hold this one off, gets the first kill, Formal flying him at the site, he'll get it, there's the return, and there is the capture. Optic Gaming might have just ended the series right there, getting the clutch kills in their favor. Without a doubt, that was one of the most important moments of this match. How that cellmate went, how that entire series of plays went over at the Optic base. Checking corners, oh, Crimson finds done. another kill on the Clayster. It's done. You think this is done? They're it's running done. another flag forward. Yeah, it's they'll done. go up 4 1. What a, a series of plays from Optic Gaming. Really could have went either way. FaZe had some opportunities to get that return, but because it's... they didn't check their corner over at construction, Crim is able to make that camel play happen, gets the return, and things just turn for the worst for phase after that. This score line says four to one optic, but I don't know about you, Revan, but this one this has been be five, much closer. One. I mean, it, it could be much closer as well, though, if yeah. phase got a couple things in their favor, like that camo play. Mm -hmm. I thought Crim6 was spotted, yeah. but instead, Zuma slides right on past him, then camo gets popped. I mean, that was such a heads up play. Instead of Crim giving away his position, played that sneaky roll, turns back out with camo, gets the return, and with just a minute left, every second that goes by, the, the, the grins on the faces of the Optic Gaming members get bigger and bigger as they realize they just took down one of their biggest rivals in Call of Duty. Yeah, and Formal starts earning some score shakes. He sees exactly where FaZe are gonna be spawning. Doesn't miss the Hellstorm there as he takes down Zuma. This is all she wrote, calls in the lightning strike. This is another flag cap for Optic Gaming. Who wrote it? This is it, Crim6. Caps it, five to one. Revan, you threw your hands up right there. Kind of like, in, is, is, that, is that what that signaled? This, yeah. this series is done? This is it. Optic Gaming blow phase out of the water. I, I, I told you, man, Optic on this map, I, I think I've cast them twice, or, or at least seen them play this map, and the few times I have, they literally score five plus fly caps every single time. Absolutely ridiculous map from Optic. As we were saying, formal, I, formal 29 and 14, yeah. seven spree, make it 30 kills for him. The ACXD's had a, a big impact as well. Skump puts in their sixth flag. And just like that, Optic Gaming in the premier matchup of the night, they take down FaZe Clan. Three to one map count. Just like I predicted, by the way. Okay. Good job, Revan. I like how you... <laughs> I like that. As you, Listen, sometimes prediction. our predictions, you know, I, they've been a little iffy as of late, but we're back on track. Six to one. Optic Gaming take that. Here's your final kill from Skump. The man himself, but while Skump, Crim6, and Karma all went positive, it was formal from Optic Gaming, 30 and 15. The man, you know what's crazy is formal just dropped 30 and 15 against against FaZe, yeah. and he finishes that map, and this was formal, right? He was like this. Nice job. If that was me dropping 30 and 15 versus FaZe, I would have, my pants would have already been off and I would have been running around the apartment. You would have known. You would have been woken up. Listen, I hear him when he gets like one kill in search and destroy. 
the loudest thing I, I probably ever heard. He gets so excited over getting oh, like gosh. the the easiest kill you've ever seen in S and D. So I could only imagine how you'd be <laughs> reacting if you picked up a couple of kills against Faze. I, I win a one dollar wager, and I and I, and you would have thought I won stage one. You would have thought I won the majority of the money from yeah. stage one. But hey, you know what? That's that's my main stage, bro. I, I didn't have the pro player experience like you. Either way, though, Optic Gaming take that series. And while the other games, game one was close at Pretty times. Close, yeah. Game two, while Optic went up, Phase really ran away with it. Game yeah. three was very close down to the final seconds. Game four was a little bit of a different story. Uh, six to one there for OG. I mean, like you were saying earlier, Phase could have easily been in it. Could have easily been a bigger lead for Optic Gaming. So many like clutch moments. I mean, one the Crim Six. Uh, camel play, that yep. was obviously huge. Then you had FaZe kind of running flags forward and forward and so many different stalemate situations happening. I mean, where Karma just gets that angle on the flag carrier behind that AC vent. But in the end, it came down to FaZe slaying. When it comes to, when Optic. they match up against Optic Gaming, it's always FaZe struggling when it comes to slaying. Optic Gaming out slay FaZe there by 28 kills. And, and CTF with a 7.5 second respawn delay, that's insane. That, I mean, if you add up all the time, that, that means you have a number disadvantage on the map. Yeah. It's, it's not like 30, 40 seconds, it's minutes of the game where you are always down a man. At the start, Optic Gaming and FaZe, yeah, they battled back and forth, but once OG got that first cap, they did not look back, even with phase capping quick on side two. They didn't lose full composure. If anything, it, it fired them up even more with four straight captures run right in after that one. Outside of that, though, that looked pretty easy. And now, if, if you're if you're a fan of phase or OG, we still have one more matchup tonight. And why I tell you to, to stick around for it, because if Luminosity win this, we know our top eight teams. We know yeah. the eight teams that we'll see in stage one. If Luminosity lose, then tomorrow means a hell of a lot more. Oh, yeah, for sure. And what'd you say Optic outslayed the other team by? 28 phase? kills. 28. So I just did the math real quickly. That's uh, 210 seconds. Just shy of, what, three and a half minutes? Three and a half minutes. Yeah. So that's three and a half minutes of that 10-minute game where Optic had a number advantage on the map because of how, how badly that's led their opponents. Really good stuff from Optic Gaming. Yeah. As we were saying, the premier matchup of the night, they take it 3-1, convincing fashion, See, and that's CTF. Now, it's a great matchup, but I think the next one is now the premier matchup for everything that's on the line. Luminosity versus H2K. Luminosity, it's simple. You win this, you, you, you're you it, you're it. You lose this one, you give a chance for H2K to stay fighting in this fight out of relegation. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun to cast, guys. You won't want to miss it when we come back, our final series of the night.